I'm Eric Fuchs, senior contributing analyst at The Street, and they just don't get it. We're here today to ask the question, what is $3 billion, a ruinous amount or simply a rounding error, the cost of doing business? That's the operative question when it comes to Glaxo or any pharmaceutical companies like Johnson Johnson, Merck or Pfizer when they're sued or fined for malpractices. Now, in what the New York Times termed, quote, the largest settlement involving a pharmaceutical company, Glaxo was forced to pay $3 billion for marketing certain drugs, including antidepressants, for uses they weren't approved for, as well as suppressing safety data. Now, ethically, obviously, this isn't good, but both negatively and positively, as a trader, you're not bound by some ivory tower notion of ethics. You merely need to know, number one, is this going to impact Glaxo? And number two, is this going to change and unsettle the way pharmaceutical companies do business? But you won't get answers to either of those questions unless you ask this. How does this fine stand in proportion to sales of these drugs? Is it a big deal set against these drugs or not? But you wouldn't know from reading a lot of the media coverage, including NBC News, which ran a big segment calling the fine, quote, massive, but not setting it against sales of the drugs. And that's just what the New York Times did. And when you do that, you realize, well, this fine is a relative pittance. And that the way these companies rationalize doing business is uh, they do it a certain way and they pay these fines along the way. These fines are by no means ruinous. And you'll know from looking at the proportionality here that nothing's going to hurt Glaxo here and nothing is going to change substantively for the drug industry. Look, here's what you need to know here. Number one, how severe is a $3 billion fine? Number two, it's not merely a matter of size, but proportion. Number three, Glaxo's fine was a pittance set against its sales. It will be business as usual for the pharmaceutical companies going forward, something you wouldn't know from reading most of the media. If you disagree with me, and you won't, feel free to email me at marek.fuchs at thestreet.com. And remember, they just don't get it. This market is a stock tickers market. Stocks have rallied this year. We're coming into a Monday where we're going to...